Excitement, your thoughts, your emotions as you head into this huge Champions League match, if you will. Well, clearly, we're, we're, we're very excited. It, um, we got off to a really good start in the last uh, in the last round, so we'll come here to uh, you know a stadium very much like Celtic Park in terms of it breathes football, and um, we're all excited by the challenge. So, uh, so yeah, pleased to, to have just arrived and get ready for the game. What do you need to see from your side? What has to go right in order to get the result tomorrow night? Well, I think for us, it's looking to bring our game to the next level. Um, I think how we've been performing over probably the last six, seven months has, has just been increasing. And now we come to this level and what we were, you know, we're under no illusions, but we're playing against a team that are challenging at the very top end of elite football. And um, But for us, I've always said, whether it's domestically or, or whether it's uh, away in, in this competition, it's it's making us a really, really difficult team to, to play against with and uh, without the ball. So um, so for us, that's what we want to uh, be able to do. And I'm not even, you know, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm just looking for us to be really, really difficult to play against and give everything we have. And like I say, bring our game, which is to, to press, to fight, to run, we know at times their quality drives you back, and then it's having that resilience in those moments. Um, but we also know that we have a game that can that can hurt teams as well with our football and our speed. So, uh, so I'm really excited about seeing that. Finally, for me, just what would it mean, and how big of a statement do you think it would be if you were to get the result tomorrow night? Yeah, well, listen, it's, it's the second of eight. Games, I think it. Um, listen, whatever happens after this game, we'll arrive back into the changing room, and I still know that I've got a very good team that's still got a lot of progression to make. But what a great test for us! A great test to to come up against a, a top team where we top players, and um, yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that. And, and as I said, I'm you know I'm very relaxed but focused in that we can get the get a result that. Uh, as I said, can build on the first game's result. Brendan, you say you're looking to bring your game to the next level. Is, is this almost the perfect place to see if you can do that here? You've, you, and you've scored 16 goals in your last three games. Do you feel this is the perfect time for this kind of picture? Yeah, yeah I think we arrive in a great place. I, I, again, I track it back to, to pre-season. You know, the games that we played there, we built our pre-season up, played some big teams, and uh, and we were able to look at certain aspects of how we wanted to play at this level. And uh, and I was very, very pleased with what I've seen. And, and that has just continued right the way through. So to come to here, like I said, it's um, it's a great opportunity for us. And uh, I'm, I'm excited by that. Just in terms of uh, team news, is there anything changed from the weekend? How's everyone looking? No, no, mostly everyone here. Obviously, Cam, not available. Um, so we'll see what... He's like uh, going into next weekend, but he's he's not here for this evening. BBC. Uh, Brendan, just how big a blow is that to to not have Cameron? He's been such a stalwart for you uh, at the back. Yeah, I think it's clearly he's, he's a top class player for us. Um, he's missed a little bit of Champions League football, I think, in his time. I think five of the twelve games that uh, the club has played, that he's unfortunately not been able to play in. Um, but uh, but yeah, we've got other players. It's it's always the opportunity for someone else to come in, and hopefully we can get Cam back uh, sooner rather than later. But um, but like I say, we we can't overthink it. We uh, we will rely on a collective. There's not one player that brings. He's a very important player, Cam. But um, but for us to get a result tomorrow evening, it will be about the collective. Normally, week to week on on the front foot, dominating the ball. You mentioned how when you come into the Champions League, these big teams can force you onto the back foot, and maybe that transition's been difficult in Europe in years gone past. But do you feel this team now has that balance that they, they can have that defensive solidity while retaining the attacking threat? Yeah, but but that's the that's what you're trying to build upon, and and like I said, after this campaign, it's it's continually to build. But I, I've I felt very good going into our first game, feeling that we've got certain 
attributes and, and um, facets within the team that maybe we haven't had. Part of that being, obviously, you know, the, the preparation going into it. So, so I feel in a really good place with, with the squad. Um, still, you know, just because you bring in one or two players doesn't mean you're going to go and win the thing. But it certainly allows us to be, be competitive and that's, that's what we want to see over the course of this campaign, that we can make that step from qualification and participating into uh, into competing at this level and uh, what I've seen from the mindset of our players and, and how we've produced our performance level that's what we aim to uh, aim to do tomorrow evening and obviously they had a great run in the competition uh, last season what are you expecting from them yeah clearly a very very tough game offensively a team that's very good lost some players in the summer but I look at the team and uh, you know they get some fantastic players in that middle to, to top section so they're always going to uh, put you on the back foot at times with their quality um, obviously they've conceded some goals but uh, but that sometimes happens when you're trying to find the, the balance and the, and the structure within within the team Nuri's obviously uh, taken over and he's He's, he'll be fine-tuning that uh, whilst he's seeing the team expect it to, to challenge at the very highest level. So, um, But no, listen, it's, it's a top side. We, we top players and uh, we, uh, we we have to be right on it to uh, to look to get a good performance and result. Tony. Brendan, do you see this as some sort of acid test? It's an iconic venue. It's one of European football's heavyweights. Is this a kind of acid test for your team to see if your brand of football can transition from, you say, pre-season and domestic stuff onto this stage, the biggest stage of all? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think this level is as is as is as much about the is as much about the head than what it is about skill. I think the uh, this is to bring in a mentality to uh, to this level, and I think that uh, that's what I'm looking forward to seeing. You know, bringing that. That quality that we show domestically and being able to take it out into this amazing arena and playing with that confidence. So, um, so yeah, I, I think that the the mindset at this level is is just as important and playing with that belief and that courage. Uh, but I I don't doubt that I don't doubt that with this team and what I've seen now over a period of time, it's uh, it's something that we'll we'll know we're going to face stress in the game and face pressure. But that's even even the very best teams that happens to, but uh, but for us it's it's yeah it, it's transferring that that game model that we that we that we see week to week and that we've seen in the first leg of the Champions League or the first game and uh, and look to do that and if we can do that we can uh, we can be a really difficult team to play against tomorrow night. Robert, just more than that, Brendan, you, you touched on how this stadium can breeds football. Can that really bring the best out in players? That environment when you step out tomorrow night. Yeah, I think it's something that you uh, you have to cherish that and live that. And sometimes that's difficult when, when you're playing because you're so focused in the game. But for us, tomorrow, you know, we play for the dreams of the supporters. The supporters are travelling out here in their thousands. And we play for ourselves to go and, and, and enjoy this experience. You know, it's, um, it's a wonderful arena. Go and embrace it. Go and cherish the, these big games. And, uh, and let's see where it takes us. And like I say, we'll come in after the game. If we've done that and we've given everything and we play with the spirit that we have done and you don't quite get the result, then as long as you've ran and you've fought and you've played and you've pressed and you've attacked, then you can do no more than that. The, 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 the game is about layers and about tiers and levels. And, and for us, we, you know, I'm just interested to see us competing at this level. Uh, Stephen? Brendan, you, you know Nuri obviously from a spell at Liverpool. Mm -hmm. um, how do you reflect on that and how have you assessed his career since then? Yeah, he, he was a good guy, Nuri. He um, he probably didn't play for me as much as he would have liked. I think when he came in, he was a young player coming in on loan from, from Real Madrid. Um, unfortunately, at that time, I'd moved Stephen Gerrard from a sort of number 10 position into a deeper role. And I'd also had Jordan Henderson who became, so those two guys, some of the greatest captains in the history of, 
of Liverpool and that's who he was competing against. I tried to put him into the team and play in some positions that probably didn't quite suit him. Uh, when he plays number 10 when really he was, he was a deeper player but I had other players in those positions that were that were doing really well for me. But but uh, across his time he was uh, he was a good guy. He loved his football. He trained very well. Was super professional. And uh, and of course he left Liverpool, went back to Dortmund and uh, and sort of followed his career from there. So it's great to see him. It'll be good to really good to see him um tomorrow evening. He's making his first steps as a manager. He'll know he'll now know the challenges of of when you do manage and all the various uh, things that come up with being a manager. So I'm looking forward to to seeing him. I'm looking forward to seeing Emery Chan. Emery was a player that he was absolutely brilliant for me at Liverpool. I travelled to out here to Germany to convince him to to come to Liverpool as a young player. He came in and uh, he was absolutely fantastic. Wherever I asked him to play. He, he played it with a real maturity and quality. So, uh, so he's the captain here, and uh, he's he's a very very good player also. Michael, uh, just following on, from that, I think a few comments back in the day from 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 Nuri about not being happy with not playing his own position. It sounds though this morning that maybe management has changed his opinion of that whole spell. Will that do that to a guy when they change that position to dugout? Yeah, it's sometimes it's only sometimes later in life when you have. The information and you have the knowledge that sometimes it uh, it can change you. Yeah, but listen, I never get too emotional with we words. I think that players and young players they all want to play, and I think at that time when Yuri uh, when Yuri was uh, at Liverpool, he had other players that were just ahead of him. Um, but he will have enjoyed the experience, even though he didn't maybe play as much. But um, but now certainly moving into. To a management perspective, you uh, you know the challenges, and he'll start to understand that. You know, you get some bits at the moment who wants to play central, and he's uh, he's playing wide, and so all these little things come to you as a, as a coach and a manager. But now he was, I, I remember Yuri as uh, Yuri, sorry, has been a good guy, uh, trained well, beautiful left foot, real technician, and uh, as I said in the in the games he played, he contributed. But we had uh, other players ahead of him at that time, and uh, but I really hope he goes on. He'll have a really good career. He's passionate about the game, and um, he's making these early steps at a big club. So I hope he does exceptionally well. Apart from tomorrow, Michael. Dortmund have lost three or four players since the Champions League final, but maybe seven of the starters then might start again tomorrow. I mean, do you think they're any weaker at all since? Since June, are they still a, a formidable side? Yeah, still a formidable team. I think you only need to to look at the goals they've scored. Okay, they've maybe conceded some, and like I said earlier, you've you're trying to find the balance with those changes. Uh, but it's a top team. It's a top club that's set up to to challenge at the very elite of of modern football, and uh, you see that within the stadium. You see it within the quality of the squad. So. Uh, so yeah, it's still a it's still a big challenge, and they'll be looking to go far in this competition. Uh, Ewan, sorry, Brendan. Celtic in, in in general have had some tough nights against these big biggest teams in Europe, which Dortmund are over the last decade or more. But what's the key reason do you think that this this can be different this time? I think it's mindset, and I think it's belief, and I think it's experience, um, and I think we've also added. Um, some players that give us um, that give us something in, in key areas of the pitch that you need. You know, this is a level you see tomorrow night with the physicality at this level, the technique, the speed, every all all those uh, attributes are needed. And um, so we've tried to look to build our game on that uh, on that model. You know, in terms of the physicality, the as well as the technique and the intensity. So, um, so yeah, it's listen. I will only know when I see it. You know, I think domestically, of course, we uh, uh, we've done very, very well. But uh, we want to see what the transfer looks like to this level. Okay. Any more? No. Okay. All good. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Thank you.